Welcome to Trains 21. In addition to this YouTube channel, you can also find us online at trains21.org and trains21.com. It's no longer news about the 100 ex-Union Pacific SD90-43 Max that NS bought to help satisfy its motive power needs back in 2014. It's also no longer news that NS rebuilt these 100 units into SD70 ACUs, essentially SD70 ACEs. The old cab was replaced by EMD's newest cab and was completely rewired. Siemens Electronics replaced the old Mitsubishi ones and EMD traction motors replaced the Siemens traction motors with some locals getting engine work done as needed. What might be news to you is that after nearly five years of parading around the system, at least half of the new rebuilds were sold off and returned to Progress Rail completed in black varnish with whiskers. This is the beginning of the end of the ACUs on NS, so get up, get out, and go shoot them while you still can. In 2018, Progress Rail was chosen by Canadian Pacific to supply an order of 30 upgraded EMD SD70 ACU locomotives. I'm Railfan AC, and you're watching Trains in the 21st Century. Thank you, railroad executives, for making commemorative, specially painted locomotives and equipment a thing over the past few years. I say this despite my current contempt for Class 1 railroading in general. Looking to the west, the Union Pacific added the Employee Pride locomotive SD70 ACE number 1111 to its commemorative roster. In the Midwest, the Wisconsin Great Northern repainted EMD SW600 number 1280 into a Chicago and Northwestern scheme, while Chicago's Metro Commuter Line painted its MP36PH-3S, wow, that's a mouthful, number 405 in the bold orange and chocolate colors of the Milwaukee Road, in addition to painting F40PHM-2 number 211 in Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy colors. Here on the East Coast, CSX painted ES44 EH number 1776 for the U.S. military and veterans. They also painted the ES44 AH number 911 for the firefighters and first responders and ES44 AH number 3194 for police and law enforcement. The Class 1 Railroad, which had only previously placed stickers on the noses of engines, also repainted and donated a Chesapeake and Ohio painted caboose and a Chessy System painted GE. New Jersey Transit painted three locomotives in heritage paint. GP40 PH-2 No. 4109 was repainted to the Central Railroad of New Jersey livery. Bombardier ALP-46A No. 4636, which is an electric locomotive, was painted into the Pennsylvania Railroad scheme. And dual-mode Bombardier ALP-45 DP No. 4519 was painted with an Erie Lackawanna paint scheme. These went along with six Bombardier bi-level coaches wrapped for the CNJ, Conrail, Erie Lackawanna, Pensy, the Pennsylvania Reading Seashore Lines, and the New Jersey Department of Transportation. And if that's not enough, the Canadian Pacific brought out 10 new SD70 ACU units in classic CP maroon and gray paint, in addition to five SD70s painted to honor U.S. and Canadian militaries, which brings us to this video.
In 2018, the Canadian Pacific began ordering upgraded EMD SD70 ACU locomotives from Progress Rail to be used in heavy haul service. Progress Rail fitted the upgrades at its facilities in Mayfield, Kentucky and Muncie, Indiana. The units were fitted with all new traction control systems and cabs with the EMD 710 engines and other major components remanufactured by the company for optimal performance and reliability. The locomotives were pretty much built to NSSD70 ACU specs and started being delivered to CP in 2019. The first two units in the Heritage Paint Schemes pulled their first revenue train on October 18. The two units, number 7010 and 7015, wearing a variation of CP's historic original Tuscan red, gray, and gold paint, led train 197 out of St. Paul. Locomotive 7010 features the Tuscan red script lettering on the long hood, while the 7015 has block lettering along the long hood. Canadian Pacific President and CEO Keith Creel selected the scheme from designs that were presented to him. The mechanical department worked with CP's Heritage Department, which maintains the railroad's historic fleet of passenger cars and locomotives, to come up with a number of options to present to Creel. In a nod to the railroad's historic Beaver logo that came back in 2017, Creel selected the Tuscan Red schemes. This is not the first time CP has painted a freight locomotive into its historic Tuscan Red scheme. In the early 2000s, it painted GP38 number 3084 into the classic Tuscan scheme. The railroad's FP9s also use this livery for its business train and some other excursions also wear this classic paint scheme. One unfortunate side note is that Canadian Pacific didn't preserve its two rare E8s. They could have remained to supply power to both business and excursion trains as the only E units left in Canada. The 7010 and 7015 were part of an order for at least 60 SD70 ACUs using the railroad stored SD9043 Max. Other SD70 ACUs in CP's current red paint scheme have been delivered and put into service in Western Canada. Ironic since the original SD90s used to work the potash trains from southern British Columbia to Portland, Oregon if memory serves me properly. While this was the first revenue run of the two heritage units pulling freight, it was not the first run for the 7015 as it was pressed into service as power for a business train on October 13 after CP FP9 number 4106 suffered a mechanical failure, leading two other FP9s and the business train on the St. Paul to Kansas City round trip. CP's ACU fleet was primarily assigned to Canadian service when the first locomotive was released for revenue service in August 2019. That changed when two locomotives worked south of the border on different trains. CP Armed Forces No. 7023 led train 252 from Montreal to Saratoga Springs, New York, while the 7003 led train 298 into the U.S. via Portal, North Dakota to St. Paul, Minnesota, then led train 286 towards Chicago. The locomotives were part of CP's initial 30-unit order with a follow-up order of 30 more for delivery in 2020. CP received its first group of ACU locomotives when the 7000 through 7003 were picked up in Paducah, Kentucky by Canadian National and delivered to the CP in Dubuque, Iowa. Canadian Pacific train 575-116 picked up their units for forwarding to Canada. The four locomotives were set out in Calgary for setup and began revenue service by testing in Western Canada initially. How they ended up here in northeastern Pennsylvania is still a mystery to me to this day.
SD90, the original EMD's first and last foray into the domestic 6,000 horsepower locomotive market does illustrate one positive point. Locomotives are good until the frames rust away. They're designed to be practically indestructible, but they're also built for components to be replaced, sometimes several times over. CP originally had 61 units numbered 9100 through 9160. CP stored more than 600 locomotives between 2012 and 2016 when former CEO E. Hunter Harrison implemented his precision scheduled railroading operating model. CP, like all North American Class 1s, now moves tonnage on fewer, longer trains, which admittingly does allow it to rely on a smaller active locomotive fleet despite handling more traffic. CP has been sending AC units out for modernization for years with the fleet expansion necessary to handle increased international intermodal and crude oil traffic. Now if they only had the crews to move the trains. The railroad took delivery of 80 modernized AC 4400s from General Electric and CP's entire road fleet is now AC traction and capable of running in distributed power mode, something that's now common as Class 1s purge their rosters of older DC traction units. I've discussed this and other locomotive related topics in several past videos. I've provided a link to these past videos in the description box and in the pinned comment, just in case you missed them. This harkens to the era when Southern Railway didn't order a single new steam locomotive after the 1920s. It was in 1939 when Southern started purchasing the new EMC FT diesel freight locomotives for the freight trains and in 1941 it began buying the Alco DL109s and the EMC E6s for certain passenger trains including the Crescent, the Southerner and the Tennessean. We talked briefly about the EMC FT diesel freight unit in video T127 of the summer series of 2019. I've also placed a link to that video in the description box and in the pinned comment, just in case you missed it. The Southern Railway was very frugal with purchasing new equipment unlike the Santa Fe, the Pennsylvania, the Union Pacific, and the original Burlington line. Its diesel buying practices were focused on improving efficiency, being the first railway to fully dieselize. Add to that, only four of its passenger trains were designated as streamliners. They were the Southerner and the Tennessean in 1941, and then the Crescent and the New Royal Palm in 1949 and 1950. Will there be any locomotive builders left to build locomotives in 10 years? I ask because if you don't keep your suppliers healthy, they won't be there when you need them. Decades ago, the railroads would often buy at least some of their fleet from GE just to keep them alive and to keep EMD on their toes. This is especially true with Alco in the late 60s as it was becoming clear that they were rapidly heading toward extinction. The GE locomotives were almost always a poorer investment than the EMDs back then and yet the railroads kept GE in the game. If every railroad decides to stop purchasing new locomotives for a few years because of PSR or economic downturn or whatever, 
they could potentially destroy domestic locomotive manufacturing. As for losing customers, if I may put my own two cents in here, the railroads are their own worst enemy and I've said that many times before. Because some of their customers are captives and can't use other modes of freight transportation, they tend to ignore their concerns. Railroading is a world unto itself which can sometimes be hard to see from the outside, I know. But chasing operating ratios at the expense of everything else is one of those unfortunate symptoms. With that much said, I now leave you with the awesome EMD SD70 ACU in action. For Trains 21, call me AC.